Hi everybody, this is Emily from DIYM. I'm trying to do a couple of different DIYs these days. I really hope you guys like them. I've had these ideas for a little while now. I know they're kind of, they're fairly simple kind of ideas, kind of with a more unique twist, I guess. So, I mean, obviously you probably figured out what the heck this is from the title down below, but I really, really hope you do enjoy this DIY. So. I'm just gonna kind of show you all the things that I have for it. So basically I have another thing of just regular Epsom salt. So this one's got vanilla and shea butter in it, which to me, I like the scent of vanilla and shea butter. Like it has like a nice fragrance to it, but not everybody likes that. I, I actually have a few people in my life that are say allergic to fragrances. So I do recommend getting something that basically is just regular straight up Epsom salt. I could have found some, I just wanted to get a big thing of it. I do have some extra leftover that I might end up using for this DIY as well. So I, I just wanted to show you guys, this is like a nice big thing in case you want to make like a few of these. So I was thinking it would be nice to make this sort of project mainly for either someone's birthday or Christmas. You could even make this stuff for Christmas, even though it's a very summer themed thing. I think it's kind of cool that you could make something like this for a Christmas present, mainly because who doesn't enjoy relaxing in a bathtub? <laughs> There's some people that are more shower people, obviously, and I'm going to do a DIY for those people in the future. If somebody you know really likes spas and relaxing and is super into maybe doing self-care or people that are into traveling and they enjoy like beach decor, I think that this is actually really cute for that. The nice thing about this DIY is that people don't necessarily have to use it. I mean, they could if they want to, and that's the beauty of this, right? Like it's functional, but it's also really pretty for decor for your bathrooms, right? So I thought it'd be really fun to make a beach themed Epsom salt bath in a jar for somebody and you can, Decorate it however you want. I'm going to show you a few different options of how to decorate it, but I'm so excited to do this project because it's not like a tremendously hard one. Because soap and stuff like that is involved, it's a pretty straightforward and easy cleanup. So, and I mean, the fact that you made it yourself is really awesome. And you thought of somebody's interests and theme and all that sort of stuff when you're making this. It's not just like an inexpensive kind of present to give somebody. It's you're thinking of somebody's needs. If you know that they're into self care, you're thinking of somebody's interests if you know that they're into like beach decor so i got this here so like a big thing of epsom salt so i got these i'm gonna try to link a lot of the stuff that i got from amazon down below so you guys can actually get pretty much this exact stuff or something similar i got these they basically came in a two pack it said on amazon so they're kind of like these little cute shell, and they're very small. So most people may not use this for a lot of things. This is specifically made for doing either soap or FDA approved stuff. So like chocolates or ice cubes out of stuff like this. And I think a lot of people will use this for like, like beach themed cake pops or cookies or cakes. If you wanna do that sort of thing too, just sort of scatter them around a cake or something. But I think a lot of people are like, oh, these are too small. These are perfect for this DIY that we're going to do. Especially if you have like small jars, this is going to be awesome for that. So I'm gonna link those down below for you guys to check that out. I also got, you don't have to get a big pack like this. I got a big pack just because I'm probably gonna use these in the future for other DIYs, who knows, knowing me, I always have some sort of kooky idea. <laughs> so anyways, these are drink umbrellas. And I was looking for these everywhere, just like a small pack of these. I was actually looking in the grocery store, I was looking in the dollar store, I couldn't find them close by to me. I was just doing a really, really quick trip. I don't like going outside right now because this is the pandemic times. So I did a very quick trip to a place that had a dollar store and a grocery store nearby and I thought that they might potentially have it but no it's <laughs> fortunately they didn't have it like a small pack so i got this from amazon again i'm gonna link this down below in case you want like a lot of these as well maybe in the future if you decide to have a party or something this might come in handy or again if you're doing like fun diys like this one and you want to make maybe a bunch of stuff like this for your friends or this could be great to like give away at like a beach wedding or like 
like a beach party if you're throwing a beach party winter is a great time to do a beach party i don't know if, about you but like i'm like born in march i'm like a pisces so my mom when i was like 10 she like gave me like a beach party and i thought it was one of the cutest ideas for like a 10 year old's birthday we did a lot of fun creative stuff back then anyways i got this so i also got different jars so these are glass jam jars and i'm gonna probably link to more plastic stuff that looks kind of like this they might be a little bit bigger as well which is nice if you want to give a little gift to somebody especially if they have kids because in case the kids knock over the decor in your bathroom at least it's plastic and you know it's kind of safe so this is glass i mean you can get glass ones if you want to especially if somebody doesn't have kids or dogs or or any kind of pets or cats or something like that that knocks things over we unfortunately don't have kids or pets or anything like that in my house so but i also did get a plastic one and this was kind of i found this at the dollar store as well it happened to be beach themed so in case you just want to do like a very simple version of this you could just fill it up basically with the epsom salt and this is kind of like the decoration if you think about it so it's kind of like a cute idea so i have that also have I have to break into this but I've got food coloring we're gonna give this kind of like a sand color look or like almost like dirt you could also make like almost like a pink sand if you want to with this sort of thing so that's kind of cool because we're gonna make soaps out of these so we have I have two different types of soap here I have goat's milk which isn't exactly great for vegans so I got like a shea butter which is kind of like a white soap they're both white soaps so gotta think about the person that you're gifting to is somebody also allergic to specific soaps or scents or fragrances or whatever you just got to be careful about that sort of thing so anyways so there's that I also have so this is kind of more decorating stuff like this is a decorating thing that I think is really cute I also have this in case you feel like making soap on the side for this present I don't think you're gonna be able to decorate with my particular jars that I got with this but in case you want to make like some sort of side little gift with soap and you're really liking making soap you can do this also if you have little soaps like this and you just like have a lot of extra soap left over and you want to pour it into like a mold instead of like having it harden in your pan it's always good to have like extra molds close by close at hand you know so this makes nice little just like nice little side presents or something like that i think they're pretty cute anyways so there's that you're gonna think this is weird i'm just i was just getting random cloth and I was gonna suggest maybe getting some nice washcloths or towels. If you have some nice washcloths or towels, probably washcloths would be best, especially if you have like a nice little say stripey or polka dot pattern, like a little tiny one or something on it. I think that'd be really, really cute. So, but I basically bought this. So they're all like different colors and I'm gonna do something fun with this because I don't feel like cutting up some of my actual cloths and this is like something you can get at the dollar store super easily. You can get that in case you don't wanna cut up something that you really love also have these so in case you are a fan of message in the bottle stuff in general or maybe you're just a fan of animal crossing and you're loving the little diy things that you get on the beach there you know what i'm talking about fans of animal crossing <laughs> i've been playing a lot of it obviously it's a cute game especially during a pandemic it's it's amazing so i basically bought these really cute they're like little message in the bottle things and i got different sizes so i'm going to show you different ways to decorate with this as well and they're also really useful too and i'm going to tell you why in this video at some point to so stick around and find out about that so there's these guys i have this because i just i mean you can use a regular knife as well this just this is specifically for soap making and just cutting up the soap when cutting soap i found i've used both knives and that i find it's really easy to apply pressure and cut the soap much easier with this sort of thing as well so be sure to like and subscribe down below if you really think that somebody's going to enjoy this diy definitely like share the video say you've got a friend who's into beach theme stuff maybe you have a friend that loves diying things like presents and stuff like that maybe you want your friend to make you this instead of you making this. <laughs> Share the love. But yeah, enjoy, enjoy this video, okay guys? So as you can see, I have a few different types of soaps here 
for this project. And I'm just basically going to kind of take it out of the package and cut it up. Oh, I've already cut these out, huh? Wow, how convenient is that? <laughs> this one looks like it needs to be recut right here. I'm gonna just show you basically how to, this must have been the last project that I did. It's normally harder than this to, <laughs> to cut stuff. Anyways, I've already cut these into cubes apparently. So and for the last project that I did, I didn't expect that. <laughs> You guys kind of get the idea, the gist of it, right? So it's very, very soft right now because it's summertime. So it it's, would be probably fairly easy to cut with something along this line. Anyways, so I'm just going to basically put this in the double boiler and melt this. If I need more, I'll get some more in my shea butter soap package here that I have. And I'm using a metal bowl for this particular thing and basically all I have to do is just pop these little chunks that you've already kind of cut up in advance just pop them in here and then you sort of put it on the double boiler which I'm going to show you right now I put the water in a pot and I've got this at max here once this boils I'm just going to basically pop this over top so that's basically the double boil system, which a lot of people know how to do already. If they're into soap making, it's easier to double boil or I guess put it in the microwave and that's that sort of thing. It's starting to boil a little bit. It's starting to bubble. So I can probably put this on here and the steam's probably going to do quite a bit. So if you're going to be using a spoon, I do recommend using like a, a wooden spoon for this. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just wait for this to melt. It shouldn't take too long seeing as it's summertime and things should get pretty hot in here. <laughs> it's starting to melt a little bit. I sort of turned down the heat temperature. So some people will get like a, almost like a clear bowl for this. I don't really have a clear one. You can use either. It's fine for either one. Oh, look how milky it's getting. It looks very milky. So this is the shea butter one. Shea butter is really nice for your skin. It's really, it's really softening, which is nice and very moisturizing. And it also smells really good. Be careful because like the metal, probably glass too, but like the metal is really hot. So you can always wear like some sort of mitts when you're handling this stuff too. You just keep sort of stirring this sort of thing so it doesn't really burn. Yeah, that should sort of do the trick. Just wait till it kind of melts all the way down. As you can see, it's melting down quite a bit. This is say five minutes later or something around there. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all melted down. But it's getting there, it's getting there. So I don't think there's any more lumps. Oh, there's a few more. There's a few lumps left in here. So I'm gonna leave it on here a little longer until those lumps are pretty much gone. But you can see that it's gone pretty milky. This is kind of where you can probably, if you wanted to in general, if you're soap making, you can add some fragrances if you need to, or you could potentially add some sort of soap specific color. I don't think you can easily add food coloring to soap. I think you have to get specific color dyes for soap. Look into that maybe in some sort of craft store. Once this is completely melted down, I'm going to remove it from the heat and fill up some of the soap mold that I have for this project. Okay, so I already sort of tried this once before and it didn't really work out very well. I think you have to sort of keep the soap sort of heated up. I'm going to kind of keep this out so I'm gonna use one of the smaller things to get kind of in there. It's very difficult to sort of keep it from getting outside the mold itself, I guess, but do your best if you can. Has a bit of a skin on top. If you've got a hot plate or anything like that to keep things fairly melted and hot, that would be ideal for this sort of project. I unfortunately don't have anything along those lines, so we're gonna have to do our best. It's gonna have to keep reheating things. So this is it all melted. And I'm going to try to work as quickly as I possibly can while it's still melted. Because this is so delicate. I have to use kind of like a smaller, almost like a spoon. And 
and it's already starting to get this icky skin sort of thing on top. It's not really that easy to keep these molds very clean. But do your best, especially because you have to work quickly. If it's hardening on you like it's doing with me, it drips everywhere. It's really difficult to not have it drippy. Especially when you're doing such small little guys here. Drying already, so. You can probably break off some of this excess stuff that's been sort of dripped out a little bit, because it's probably just gonna be like a skin almost. You probably easily break that off when when you get it out of the mold. Already this is turning out better than the last time I did it though. Even though I'm still making kind of a mess. It's much easier to do bigger molds, obviously, but this is just going to be a really cute, a cute addition to your little beach themed basalts that you're doing, so. And pardon my messiness, I know lots of people are soap makers and they probably do this way better than I do. I am just a DIYer, I don't often do this on a daily basis, I have done some soap making in the past, I'm sure there's better methods on how to make smaller soaps basically, but it's okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm sure not everybody that's trying this at home is an expert either, right? So I'm just gonna heat this up a little bit more, I'll put this stuff aside and sort of make a bigger soap. Just to basically use up the rest of this soap and it's like a nice side present to give to somebody as well. So I basically just filled up with this so it was a little bit faster. And I thought that I, I had turned on the camera, but I didn't, unfortunately. But I just scooped everything in there. And then I just, because I don't like bubbles on top, I just sprayed a little bit of some rubbing alcohol in like a spray bottle here. And I just sort of spray that on top like that. And that takes care of the bubbles that are kind of remaining on top. So I'm basically just going to set this aside to dry. It looks like it's drying quite a bit already. What you could potentially do is take some saran wrap and some really pretty wrapping paper, wrap it in a little bow or something like that, and that's kind of a really cute side present for like this kind of beach theme if you wanted to do something along that line. It also just sort of takes care of the rest of the soap that you're using, so that's kind of cool too. So to color this, I was going to actually mix the Epsom salt in a little bowl, but I, I watched actually quite a few DIY tutorials on how to color Epsom salt, and I was going to do this gel sort of food coloring that you normally see in grocery stores, but I decided to try the powder food color that I already kind of had. And I have a few different types of colors here that I'm going to try. Because I'm doing sand, I want to definitely try this brown. Hopefully it's not too dark. If I'm mean, just going to put a little bit in just to see how that works. And if I need to, maybe I'll add just a touch of yellow just to sort of give that sort of sand look to it. But I basically just put a bunch of the unscented Epsom salt in a little Ziploc freezer bag. And this is actually kind of a fun method for coloring stuff like this with kids like it keeps your hands nice and clean and in case of uh, you don't want to do this gel thing like like me normally if you wet the Epsom salt it takes a while to dry sometimes people will put it in an oven or something just to dry it out a little bit but this is actually a nicer method so it should just mix it's like a pigment powder almost but it's like food safe so it's it's easy enough to like mix in there there's also stuff like soap dyes that you can use and I think they're a little bit nicer. They don't dye your skin. Hopefully this isn't going to be the case. We'll have to see. I'm gonna to have to test this out and see. But so like, let's just give this a whirl and see see how this works. And I'm gonna take out the brown, and just a little bit of the yellow. I'm gonna get this guy here. And just try to put like a little bit in. So it's better to put a little bit in at a time. And a little bit of food coloring, especially the yellow uh, pigment, I believe, can go a long way. It really depends on the pigment. I'm gonna have to dump this on a little bit. Whoa, it's a little too much. Didn't wanna put that much in. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in and see how that works out. And I think I'm just gonna add a touch of this yellow as well. Just a little bit. It's kinda like turmeric, so I find turmeric is very pigmented 
if you're trying to use like a natural food coloring or food dye, it, it goes a long way. It can stain your skin too. And then so you just basically zip, zip this bag and just kind of massage this. And the more you massage it, the more it looks like sand, hopefully. I don't want it to look too dark. It's actually looking very sand-like. Wow. Very cool. This is very awesome. So yeah, I just needed basically a little bit of brown and just a touch of yellow. And it creates this lovely... Look, it actually looks like sand, guys. This is so awesome. It's as if I have a real beach right here. Okay, so there's that. And again, if you want to make it a little darker, you can add a lot more pigment, like this more more of this brown pigment to make it look more like dirt or something. But that's going to be for another tutorial in the future. So all I have to do is wipe down this counter and I'll be good. So there's the mess that we made with the soap. And it's I'm just gonna basically take it out like this, and it's just probably gonna break break apart pretty easily here. Just take this out. And that's the beauty of silicone, is you can just sort of easily take out stuff here. Let's see here. So, yeah. So it basically just looks like that. There's going to be some stuff on the edges that you can clean up. You don't... I mean, if you did it less messy than I did, obviously, you might be okay. If you want to, you can even add a little bit of water to the edges to clean it up. But it normally breaks off pretty easily. So then you have like a little cute shell like that break these apart and then you can even put these excess flakes of the soap somewhere and just use it to melt down again in the future if you wanted to make some more soap. Okay so as you can see I have separated the soap shells from the little flakes here on the side and they look so cute I really like them a lot. I, I like them plain white. Some people, if you want to, you can always dye them with soap colorants. It's a little hard to just color them with normal pigments or like food coloring and that sort of thing. If you get soap colorants, it's actually a better thing to use when dyeing actual soap. So now I'm going to get my jars and I'm going to show you a few different ways of basically making this. So it really depends on like how much sand you want for this project depending on the size of your jars and what you decide to do for your decoration method. This is a jam jar and I'm sure you could use any other little jars that you have. There's a few different methods for doing this. You could actually layer sand. You can also make like a pink sand if you wanted to. So you can have this, maybe add a little bit of pink food coloring or red if you can find that too and just, just add like a touch because sometimes red can go a long way too depending on the pigments. So you can sort of do that. I would basically, like, if you want to create, like, layers, you could basically have this sort of sand color here and then sort of layer just regular Epsom salt, like white, and just kind of keep layering like that if you want to. I just want straight up sand for this. I'm just going to take a little scoop and just pour it in, basically. Pour some more in. And what I'd like to do I sort of decorate around the sides. Actually, I'm going to show you with the smaller one. This might be kind of cuter with the smaller one. So I'm basically going to layer some of these little soaps kind of around the outside. So you can sort of see it they're kind of like buried in the jar. So just sort of have the actual soap sort of facing out. And then, it's getting a little messy guys. This is a messy project, it's hard to do when filming. Basically just sort of add the bath salts to this. 
and they kind of get buried a little bit in there, but you sort of can see the shells. And then you can add a few more if you want to around just wherever. I'm going to put like a little starfish in there, just some small little guys like that. So you're going to have basically a little beach, a little beach jar. And I'm also going to add, because this is actually a small jar, I'm going to open these guys. And these are kind of nice things for making necklaces and that sort of stuff. And you can take the little cork out and put a little note in there if you want to, like a little love note or something. And then you can just sort of stick it right in there and then put the little jar lid on and wrap a little bit of something to decorate it around there but you've got basically like a little beach jar so that's really cute i really like the small one this is adorable but i'm going to show you another method a few different methods actually of decorating this bigger jar now i don't want to use all the epsom salt for this like i don't want to fill it up to the top like i did with the other jar that was just one decorating method if you wanted to do that So again, if you want to, you can add some little shells or something in here. You don't have to necessarily do that, but I like to do stuff like that. I'm going to add some of the smaller ones. Okay, you can add stuff like the smaller one here. I personally would probably rather add this larger one in here. And this one's nice, so you can also like take this little thing out, write a little note. If you wanted to make this really cute for somebody who really likes Animal Crossing. You can write like a little DIY recipe or something cute like that in there. Maybe one of your favorite ones from the game. You can write a little love note. You can write the ingredients that you have in this particular DIY, like what you used just for the person that you're gifting it to so they have peace of mind. You can even add little notes on how to bathe with it. You know, there's lots of cute things you can do with this sort of thing if you just want to sort of add that in the center just kind of like I did with this guy. But I'm going to do something a little different. So I'm going to do a blue little umbrella. You don't, you can do whatever color you want. Doesn't matter. And then just open this guy up like you always do with these kind of little cute little umbrellas. And then sort of pop it up with that thing right there, right? Oh, look how cute that is. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to pop this in here. Sort of stick it down in there. So it's like a little, almost like a snow globe. So I'm going to grab like this fabric sharpie that I got like forever ago. And I'm going to open up this. It's like a chiffon all-purpose cloth. And they're, it's like a different color pack. I'm going to do a pink color. You can get some fabric scissors and cut it down to the size that you want. So I just want like a little guy, maybe about this size. And if you want to make it as straight as possible, you can always draw on this if you want to with chalk or something. But I'm just going to wing it. It's basically making a little rectangle like this, right? It's just a small little guy that's going to fit in there. And then if you want to, I'm going to decorate it a little bit. You can add stripes or whatever, like little drawings if you want to. I'm just going to make little polka dots. Various shapes here. It's hard to, to draw things in the air. <laughs> it's almost like a little watermelon kind of. You could actually make like little watermelon seeds, which would be cute. Anyways, it's like a sort of a polka dotty, like organic looking. Anyways, you kind of get the gist of it, right? So you sort of decorate your little, this is like a little uh, beach towel. And so you can remove this guy if you want to. Anyways, so it's kind of like a little a beach scene. And so basically you can use these little bath salts. It's also just a really, really cute decoration. And if you care to, you can add a little fun 
message in a bottle here. I find this this snow globe method works a lot better if you have a really large jar and not that much Epsom salt, but it's super cute. I mean, you still have like quite a bit of Epsom salt. Oh, another thing you can add if you really, really wanted to, almost like a little shovel. If you can find something like this in silver and just sort of like paint it, like maybe here, I think that would be really, really cute. This is like a little gelato spoon and you can just sort of stick that in here so people can scoop stuff out. You can even have it kind of on the side of the jar, like on the small little jar here. You can sort of tie that on there with like a little bow or ribbon of some kind, some sort of string, because like string I find looks very rustic, but also has kind of like a beach quality to it, like almost like a found item quality to it. But anyways, there's that option too. There's a lot of different ways of decorating this thing. I think that this is really cute. I hope you guys really like this. If you want to do sort of like an easy DIY. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and yeah, I thought that was a lot of fun. So yeah, so that's the DIY and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, it turned out really cute. I really like it. I mean, depends on like how big of a jar you want to work with. If you obviously have just like a little bit of the salt scrub that you want to give. I mean, it's still quite a bit that you're giving even if it's like not even half of the jar. They're still giving quite a bit. and you're making almost like a snow globe kind of thing which is really cute so i definitely and you can sort of see it inside it's really really sweet and again you don't have to get a jar exactly like this one you can get like a big pasta jar or something like that and that would kind of suffice i also made again this one and it's a really nice cute small one and i put a little tiny i don't know if you can see that but there is a little tiny message in a bottle in there which would be a nice surprise when somebody opens it, especially if you want to give them a little love note or something cute, or even just popping in some sort of information on how to use this or the ingredients that you put in here, that sort of thing, or what it, what's in here, what the contents are. Whatever note you want to give. It could be as formal or as informal as you want it to be. But yeah, I think it's really cute. I think it turned out really nicely. And I, I love how it looks actually like sand. Like it actually looks like the color of sand. Like. It's so beachy for people who love beachy themed stuff. I also made this guys. I made like another, so I made another video and I'm going to show you guys how to do this kind of layering effect, but it looks really cool. I'm really happy with this and it turned out really well. I had some leftover shells, shell soaps, and I just sort of stuck them in the top and I just sort of layered this on the bottom. So this is basically espresso coffee an organic one and some ground up oats oatmeal because that's gonna be nice for the skin and it's just I just sort of layered it so it's almost like this dirt beachy kind of effect but it still looks super pretty I really like it a lot and I'm gonna show you why I kind of did this sort of dirt like effect in an upcoming video and I hope you guys really enjoy that one so if you really like this kind of content give us a like if you like this video and hopefully that one too when it comes out and subscribe if you like this kind of content and if you think somebody else is going to enjoy it just pass this video along to somebody else and share it anyways take care guys bye have a good one